Want to be your local transit authority? The PowerPoints on the Manual and Resources CD and these next activities introduce transits and the Kepler mission, NASA's first mission to detect transits of Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone of sun-like stars. This set of PowerPoints and activities illustrates each of these four concepts. Detecting transits, why Earth-sized planets are important, what a habitable zone is, and what's a sun-like star. On the Manual and Resources CD, in the PowerPoints folder, you'll find two PowerPoints with their suggested scripts, keplermission.ppt and sunlikestars.ppt. In the bag, you'll find a small bag labeled Transits, which contains a white card, some sticks and pins, and a variety of small balls and beads. These are used to represent planets. You'll need to borrow the snake lights from the Shadows in Space activity bag. Use the sticky wax again to attach the beads to the pins. For the habitable zone activity, use the blue bead. That activity also uses a red candle and some colored cellophane, yellow and blue. For the sun-like stars activity, copies of star charts of Cassiopeia, Orion, Big Dipper, and the Summer Triangle with various stars labeled. The PowerPoint slides are in the PowerPoint file called keplermission.ppt which introduces the Kepler mission, how it will detect transits, and the area of the summer triangle Kepler will be monitoring. It also explains some concepts like habitable zone and sun-like stars. It's best if you read through the suggested script in detail before you do a presentation. You can find that script on the manual and resources CD in the PowerPoints folder. To make the PowerPoint presentation more interactive, you can add activities into your presentation. Activities like what is a transit and detecting transits. Or an activity about habitable zones called why is there abundant life on the Earth and not on Venus or Mars. Or the activity about sun-like stars called are all the stars we see like our sun. All these activities can also be used independently.